Hello everyone, and welcome to the first episode for Secret Ponchos, a game that has an awesome name. So this is a game that is currently in Early Access, and I try to stay away from Early Access games, but sometimes I just can't help myself. And the same thing can be said for Cannon Brawl, which is also still in Early Access. So this is a top-down, old western, arcade shooter with a colorful cast of characters. Uh, let's actually show you them, or let me show you them real quick. We have a matador, and these are my personal outlaws. Uh, you know, let me just go to create new. So this is what you'll see originally. So, we have the killer. It shows you the primary and secondary weapon for this character. It shows you the stats below. And in this game, you level up through reputation. And basically, that means um, the more matches you win, the more money you're worth because we're outlaws. And so the higher you get in ranking with the outlaws, like I think right now I'm a actually called an outlaw, you start at petty, you get levels and you can put perks, or not perks, but you can upgrade like your damage, your stamina, your speed, things like that. Uh, anyway, we also have the Matador who is a sword and cape. I've tried her out a little bit, she's a little wonky, she's the newest character that they've implemented and I think like sometimes her animations don't really work, I don't know, it's odd. Uh, we have Kid Red who's my favorite character. He is a dual pistol and dynamite user, the dynamite is pretty cool. We have the deserter who is also really cool, he's like the tank. He can charge and impale people with his bayonets, he can do sniping shots, he can heal himself. He's the only character who can heal himself, he's, he's pretty cool. We have the phantom poncho who has this insane bullwhip that can stun you if he lands a hit. So the typical thing is they stun you then they rush in and shoot you with their shotgun, he's a cool character. So those are all the characters that are currently in the game. Again, this is an early access, so I'm really hoping that they introduce a lot more because what they've already introduced here is it's a lot of fun. I like all the characters, except for the Matador again, because she's a little wonky when I try to use her. So I've already created one of every single character, and when you do, you name them. So I named her Miss Blood Moon, we have Mr. Kid, we have Captain Tiny, because why not? You have Gong the Snake, and then One Shot Pete. I try to I try to do a Wild West theme with like the, like, I think One Shot Pete's probably my best wild name. Maybe uh, Mr. Kid is too. I like Gong the Snake too, I don't even know why. Uh, but anyway, we're going to use Mr. Kid. And this is a multiplayer focused uh, game right now. So there is a single player, but it's just practice. It's just so you can learn your characters, basically. I am going to go into a ranked play. So the rookie option allows you to level up your character from petty up to outlaw. But if you keep playing in rookie mode, you will not level past the outlaw ranking. I think it goes petty, thug, and I think there's one other ranking and then outlaw. So I'm just going to go to the ranked right now and hopefully we can find a match. I'm also using a controller right now. This can work with the keyboard. But I, I kind of prefer controllers in these types of games. And so far, I haven't been finding it too difficult to find matches. There we go. So I am part of gang number two. Currently this is just 2v2, but they are going to implement a 4v4 game mode as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. I like the screen. I like the music too. The music's very good. Just this... It, it, it's so cool. I like this game a lot. This music really fits the, the theme of this Wild West setting. Alright, so this is the, the uh, train junkyard, I believe this one's called. We're gonna have a countdown. At any time, I can press left on my control pad and you see all the moves that your character has. So, with his primary and secondary weapons. So, I'm going to switch to my secondary mode of firing with this guy. And this is gonna stun people. In the primary mode, it, shots can go further, but they do not stun. In this mode, he shoots both pistols at once instead of one at a time, and like I said, his shots stun. You can hold the left button or left trigger down to hide behind cover, and that takes you away from the map. Like I, right now, you can see that I, I um, had a red skull. The red skull shows us where the enemy is, but if you're behind cover, that disappears. So right now, they're behind cover. We're lighting our dynamite. You can hold down the right trigger, or well, you press the right trigger to activate your secondary when you have it selected. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna try to chase this guy down and stun him. There we go. Ooh, I'm out of bullets. You have to manually reload, finish him off. Nice. And then in this mode, it's kind of like a tug of war. So the first thing to get to five kills wins, but each time you die, that little skull will go over to the other side. 
or you know, one over to the enemy team. Where's his partner at? Okay, also if you stand still, you start getting your stamina back. Stamina is used for a lot of things depending on what the character is. We'll stun him. Oh, and somehow he killed me. I guess maybe he got a shot off? I don't know, like, some things are still wonky. Like I said, some animations are not working, or like, I just don't see them sometimes. I saw something over here. Is it really just this guy? Hello. So, the big guy is hiding in cover, so we're trying to flush him out by throwing dynamite. So if I hold that dynamite too long, it will explode in my hands. Shoot. Oh my god. As you can see, that guy can just kind of shoulder check into you and knock you down. Got him. Well, this kind of sucks if it's... It's just... Wow. His teammate must have left. Alright, there we go. We got a pop-up over here. Oh! Jeez. I didn't even know you could go into that train car. Uh, but also what you can do with the dynamite is if you get close enough, you can actually just put it on the player. On teammates too, so you gotta be careful because the teammates can't get hurt by dynamite. This guy is very sneaky. What the- like- I passed right by him! How did I not see him when I was walking by? And, like, that's what I'm saying, like, he didn't even look like he was firing, and then he killed me. So, again, some things are still a little off about this game, but it is a lot of fun when it's 2v2 and it's more intense, instead of two people just trying to hunt down one guy. That's really unfortunate. But it's going to be over. Wow, and it's actually going to go into a sudden death with a 2v1. Oh my goodness. So if it's tied, you go into a sudden death mode. Cannot believe that. That, that, that. that guy did a really good job of just hiding and coming out, stabbing people. He's not a very fast character, so he played to his strengths. So first kill wins. So he's going to try to get close to us, so I'm going to use my short range stunning rounds. What the heck is this guy? I like hide in there, I know. Like, obviously he's moving around. Where the heck is he? What in the heck? Wow. Jeez. 
dude. <laughs> I don't know where this guy is. Usually if you're not in hiding, you pop up on the map, but he's... Maybe if you just go cover to cover, like, you, you don't. Wow. This is like, this has never happened. I've never even had a 2v1 situation, so it figures when I'm actually recording for the first time ever, this happens. Wow. Did you see him? No? This guy is really just gonna wait out 100 seconds. Man. At this point, I don't even care who wins. It was unfair match to begin with. Just toss and dynamite everywhere. I do not know where this guy is. Oh, there you go. I saw myself. Okay. This just like Wow. This is totally busted. I'm going to match. Okay. Well, that was something. Hello and welcome back. Ah, uh, no. And we're back. So sorry about that cut there, but what happened in the sudden death round is that we never found the guy. Me and my partner never saw him. So we were just running around for what was like 180 seconds. And I'm like, well, no one wants to watch this. So I decided to cut it out. And here we are trying to get into another match. A lot of kids in this one. And then Swordmaster. Sure. Remember the famous outlaw swordmaster who only used a knife and not a sword. All right. Hopefully this is a better match. Ooh, nice. The saloon. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Nice! My, uh, my buddy there threw his knife at the guy and killed him. Wanna go in? Nice! Oh, I need, I need ammo! See, look! 
And that guy was shooting off to the right, but he was, in reality he was killing me. So yeah, a little wonky. A little wonky. I think what's happening is, like on their screen, I'm right there, but on my screen looks like I'm away. I don't know. Even with that though, I've had a lot of fun with it. Gotcha! So I have leveled up the kid um, with max damage, so I'm doing a lot. No! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Kill him, kill him, kill him! Aww. He's trying to throw it behind me. So yeah, that first shot was done with this mode, so it's pretty brutal. What? Mm. Try and get all fancy. And get behind. No! <laughs> I'm coming, old man. Oh, you're alive. Okay. That was pretty silly of him. Got him! Yeah! Goodbye, kid. I knew it was pretty safe to go in because he was reloading when I approached him, so he probably wasted all of his- well not wasted, but used all of his ammo against the uh, my partner there. Yeah! 9 and 2. Look at that. And then you get this, your windscreen, how much bounty you collected or lost, because you actually can lose- uh, I believe you can lose a level, at least that's what my friends said. They said that they went down in levels. So it says two perk points were awarded, but I've already been awarded perk points for being an outlaw, so I don't think I actually have any more. But I'll press square and see. Yeah, so I have no upgrade points, but you can remove them at any time and then put them into some other stat. So you can see I just put them all in damage, and it seems to work, work out pretty well. Um, I can try something else, maybe four damage. Stamina regen is those little stamina pips at the bottom of your health. Uh, I don't really need those. Speed, maybe? Try that. There are skins in the game, but there's only one per character right now. And before we try to end this, let's go to the Gong the Snake. Show, you, show him off <laughs> the Phantom Poncho. I like this. I love this little scene. Now what I would like to, for them to do is when you create a party of people, I would like to see their characters walk through those saloon doors and like join you at the table or something. But they don't do that right right now, it just shows your character. But I think that nice little addition would be would be just pretty awesome. They just come walking through the saloon, plant their butts down on the chairs, take a drink of whiskey. So I'm going to show you the Bull Whip, which is pretty nuts if you can land it. Its range is long. Oh, that's right, I am only petty with Gong the Snake. Maybe I should have went to the rookie. Ah, it's this fine. It's fine, whatever. So in rookie mode, it will actually show you the name of your opponent before the match starts, but in rank they hide it. I guess it's so you don't back out if you meet somebody, or if you're playing against someone who's like, I guess kicked your butt before maybe? Because once the match is matched up, <laughs> yeah, once the match is matched up, that makes sense. Uh, you can no longer quit the match, that's blocked out. 
Drifter. That's higher than Outlaw. I'm not sure how much higher. It's crazy, the game I wanted to show off the Phantom Poncho. We have three in total. Oh my gosh. Phantom Poncho. Imagine there's going to be a lot of bull whipping. Let me look at my abilities here. Yeah, so a shotgun, main fire, if you hold down the right button, you move slower and like you do focus damage instead. Let me zoom out here. He's gonna try to pull with me. Ah, missed. Snowman shot is just a shotgun like that. Switch to my whip. Oh, I thought I was going to hit that one. What else can the whip do? Rattles grip. Aim and right button charge. Okay, let me try that. I've never actually done that before. And you can see his dashes actually go further than the kid, too. Ah, oh, missed. No! Oh, we're getting destroyed. Oh wow, this is like match point almost. Jeez. Let me see if I can grapple this guy. I see, like, I somehow killed him even though I was on the ground. That's so weird. So weird. No, I don't want to die. Oh, my goodness. Kill him. Oh, nuts. I just want to rattle grip somebody. No. No, we lost. Kong the snake lost. Well, oh, shoot. Enemy gang is victorious. So now we would actually lose money. I don't think I have that much with him, though. Damage dealt bonus plus 41. Minus $100 total bounty collected. Yep, my head is now worth 674. Ay, ay, ay. So it's pretty brutal that you can go down in levels, but I, I, I kind of like that feature. So alright, I think that's going to do it for this very first episode. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. I'll, I'll be doing some more of this, especially if, if people like it. And next time I'll probably show off... Um, I, I could try to show off Miss Blood Balloon. Blood Balloon. I, I kind of suck with her. I, I, not that great. Uh, Captain Tiny I can play, and then um, One Shot Pete as well. So thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget your cowboy hats. And I'll see you next time. Take care.